In this video, I will explain how to set up your own Ethereum node. Running your own node offers much more flexibility compared to node providers like Infura. And it's also a great way to understand in detail how Ethereum works. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Eat the Blocks, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. An Ethereum node is a software that runs the Ethereum network. There are many implementations of Ethereum node and Geth written in Go is the most popular. That's the implementation we will use. You can install Geth for Windows, Linux and macOS. You can either download an executable or use a package manager. I will show you how to do the installation on macOS with the Homebrew package manager. If you don't have Homebrew, you have to install it first. After, in your terminal, you run the following commands. After that, once Geth is installed, you will have access to the Geth executable. When you run Geth for the first time, it will need to download the data from the Ethereum blockchain. That's what we call the syncing process. Geth has three sync modes. The full sync mode, which will download the entire blockchain. The fast sync mode will, will also download the entire blockchain, but using a snapshot from another peer. And the light sync mode will start a bare minimum node with only the current state and without the historical state. The most powerful and trustless option is full sync, but it requires a lot of resources on your laptop. For this tutorial, we will keep it simple and use the light sync mode. Run this command in your terminal. It will start the node in light sync mode and connect to the Robston testnet. You will notice the IPC endpoint that should look like something like this. This is the URL of your node. You can interact with your local node using the JavaScript console or by using JSON RPC. To use the JavaScript console in a new terminal, you run this command with your IPC URL. Once the console is connected, you can run this command to see information about nodes. You can check the Web3.js documentation for a full list of commands available on the console. You can also programmatically connect to the node using Web3.js and JSON RPC. For this, when you start your node, you have to run this command. It will start a JSON RPC server at localhost 8545, which you can use as a provider in Web3.js to connect to Ethereum. So that's how you run a local Ethereum. To run on mainnet, you just have to remove the Robston flag. It's also possible to buy a physical machine specially designed to run an Ethereum node. What do you think about running an Ethereum? Have you tried it already? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for today. See you next time.